Sabalanis, Ozani, Hanya, Lisa, Lot, Ashenita, and Lotani, Potani. Greetings of the diaspora to those that don't speak the languages that we speak. Supreme writing to everybody. Welcome, welcome to another session. Welcome, Stoners United, Wake and Bacon, Wo Gang, Anti Wo Gang, the Queer Conscious Gang, Black Consciousness Gang, the Politics Gang, the Tawaza Goko Gang, Boma Kosi Gang. As long as we're all here, love and light, little Luna Chakra Hands Tarot Card Gang, energy readers, healers in light, as long as we're all here in love and light, this is another knowledge sharing session. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Those who have been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking back on some more content. And those who are new here and are resonating with the content, please help me by giving me a subscription there. Please engage with us in the comment section. Please like, please share, please clip. Whatever it is that you want to do, thank you so much for tuning in. It is another knowledge sharing system. We are not here to colonize anybody or to recruit anybody into anything. But to tell it aside, welcome, welcome everybody on the supreme day, supreme rising, a grand rising. To everybody, little on a hotel gang, I keep forgetting you guys, hotel that actually reads gang. Welcome, welcome everybody. We are all here in love and light and respect. Yes, as you always mention when we are engaging in our comment section. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And we are in the season of a set. So to start a session, let us also simpala me say it over as in kulu. Tua o set, tua o set, tua o set, tua wedi, tua wedi, tua wedi, tua cha cha matolo, tua cha cha matolo, tua cha cha matolo, tua nom kubulan, tua nom kubulan. Dua nom kubulan, dua mudimu me, dua mudimu me, dua mudimu me, dua the ma in kamata. So very light and love and light. Welcome everybody to another session in the season of a set. We are on our seventh Ms. Pelelezu, seventh, seventh season of the year. And yes, pushy lene, pushy lene. We always we just entered our hibernation period, and we're gonna expand more on the season of a set. And so that I did not forget anything, I've made a couple of notes. So yeah, so you see me looking down here. Yeah, it's just to keep on track to the things that I wanted to share today because content in other and we try to comprise them into like four sessions where we have our intro and because there's a lot that we can speak on on the energy principles or the deity or the frequency, whatever it is that you want to name it or Sidimu or this part of Mudimu because yes, us as a people, we do not believe in the Samana concept that we are currently rolling in, but in totality, this is just giving reference or reverence to nature itself and how it performs. So, because we're people of pictures and imagery and everything, we literally use figurative speech, metaphors, and imagery to understand, you know, to answer this great question that we still probably will be asking in 10,000 years to come, you know, hopefully. He was God. Where is God? How did creation happen? So yeah, so we are trying in these sessions. We're trying in these sessions just to bring ourselves back to ourselves, put ourselves back together. You know, there's a lot of things that have affected us, a lot of things that have unplugged us from a lot of things. And I'm so excited. I haven't been in here in the longest. I haven't recorded from this space in the longest. So I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be home as well. It is uh, super amazing. And Lamona, it's so green. It's so green. It's so green up in here. But welcome, welcome, welcome to another session. And <laughs> I'm hoping it's not going to be a long one again, but you know how carried away we get with these sessions. But yes, we will have, yeah, we'll try to do, but please, y'all, please catch us on the live sessions that we do because I know there's multiple questions. And happy season to what was said. I'm sure you guys will have a kick as one because, yeah, it is rather a, yeah, a, a, a tricky season, you know. And um, those who are away or those who read Cosmos and all of that, um, you know, okay, in some parts there was a, a, an eclipse, eclipse that was visible, and we entered in another one, Gadi 60. And we spoke a little bit uh, what we do, Gadi Eclipse, and Azahona, you know, and also learn to observe yourself. Learn, okay, what happens? You know, highly full moon. So I already know, like, my moon baby's whole yeah, it's, it's been a struggle. So happy full moon. Um, yeah, let's not go too much into the full moon, but I said, like, this whole season, yeah, or said. You know, like moon energy season, but because this is the divine feminine, this is the the moon element, the sun element. When we're speaking of the concept of duality in creation, and as well as in um, of course, it be the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, right? So let us start first with there's something else I forgot. Oh yes, so I am dressed today by B. Exist, occur, take place. 
and i forgot his his killer his killer line but yes he will be here also for a business feature so this is also uh the skippers that a friend of mine also does uh we had great great sales thank you so much guys for circulating the rent from the last a uh, person i was dressed by a uh, izinja no no sorry sorry me i'm the i'm the izinja 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 yes with the with the image of antwaruna the dog right but thank you so much for showing support circulating the rent and all the good goods so please also show this brother this king some love b and this statement actually is very packed for me because this reminds me of when i got into a consciousness that's the guy where i had the special friend of mine those were with me from the beginning you know shared the story this friend of mine from varsity will we okay first of all he was not a part of, part of or understanding why i'm affiliated with the political parties affiliated then he was of the one he was of that but yeah by then there was so like to also cover actually politics is also a problem there but he would say stuff like b like all his statuses had b you know and this would uh, this would be representing like the um, you presenting yourself as the god that you are and yeah other good goods but shout out to will again you know i was just not ready for that content then and this is when actually i bumped into this ancient sacred knowledge but i was not ready next Ali. You might say about cognitive dissonance. Why do I read that? Yeah, what about your blind, blind, blind? But yes, anyway, please show this brother some love. If they go Facebook, B, but uh, I will ask for his details and I'll share for the details if you want as such. He also has different colors and yeah, and you'll see what the, what the concept is all about. But we'll have him for a business feature. Lena Salo, so we're going to have Ezine, my friend, what Ezine Lena. We're going to have. Man, I have yeah, like Kopek, Kopek, and yes, let us circulate the red. And also on our platform as announced when um we made I think it was in the Hero season for a HO, we also gonna go uh, we're gonna offer products because I see Hore, yeah, there's a lot of a uh, struggle and yes, I, I definitely know that we're gonna compile this content that we do because I know some people would like something readable, something that makes sense and all of that. So I thought I'd do it later on, but it's getting got pressure from the emails that I'm getting, the comments and the comment section that i'm getting yes we will definitely absolutely absolutely make the process a little bit faster but i want it to be like so beautiful and a work of you know what it's a yeah it's about it's about a tool that is used again to wanna a uh, convince people we are not convincing people here we are just assisting ourselves to remember who we are we are assisting ourselves to be in alignment with the energies that are prevalent in nature you know we, we are not we are not forming a new religion as somebody has here but anyway let's get into today's set episode as mentioned thank you so much for the love i consistently yes it is the greatest force i feel in in planet so the names of a set let us start with the names of a set so a set when uh, we're looking at the plagiarized version of this context and we're going to speak about this one on, on the next session i thought we would do the trinity episode today original trinity episode but i'm too heightened because i had a a back and forth again you know what algorithm needs to chill because i do not want to have religious debates it's childish it's childish so i don't want to have um a such debates because as much as you know i know when i was to talk about we were the sleeping brothers and sisters some other time you know and i, I never want to tell anybody on that but if you're coming for me i will produce in a calm not condescending manner calm manner and yeah, so I thought, let me not touch on the Trinity today because I want to present that concept also in a kind manner, you know, for us to understand. Even though this colonization did not come kindly, but I just want to unpack it kindly for us, for us to understand, for us to also, uh, if, if somebody's struggling, God, it's cognitive dissonance, you know, even like a, yeah, we're just encouraging thinking here, you know, because the more knowledge sharing session, right? Right? Imagine you thinking the same for 20 years. Aren't you worried about yourself? But anyway, uh, anyway, so the names of a set. So a set would go by the names of Mistress of the West, which I want us to talk about a little bit more. And then would also be called the Great Enchantress, would also be called the Lady of um, Powerful Word, would also be called um, the Great Man or the Great Goddess, you know, the, the Prime Goddess. So a set, when we're looking at now the, gene the genealogy, right? So part of that group, the Ennead, right? Yes, the Ennead, where it is a tomb on top and then a tomb births or spits or ejaculates or whatever context of the story that you know. Even from different parts of Africa, when you speak in creation story, there is some sort of situation, right? 
so we'll birth the god of the air god of the of moisture from that then hopefully we're gabby nude we just come from gap season shout out gap again gap season so gabby nude which were because now they're appearing on the material world so from that remember we spoke about gap season okay okay gabby nude gave bestowed gifts upon the, the royal child remember when we're speaking about the um, the construction of the the royal temple or the holy temple whatever wording that you want to use and from that i work at the five offspring asa oset neptek set leheru the elder we spoke extensively on that yo i don't know about my key okay but i think i'm audible can only projection i should have been at class of stage can only projection maybe keep it here but anyway so those are the names that oset would go by so what do i mean kali western marker because also i get lead dm on my other social spaces those who managed to find me apparently my voice is recognizable nah. hmm. yeah and that's when you're crying singing there yeah, i think i'd be arrested yeah i think but don't but i'm back i'm very fast so so i have a distinct walk and a distinct voice apparently okay walk i do know yeah i'm back if i oh but anyway um so mistress all the way so there's questions a uh, question that came up okay what do you mean got a northern marker western marker southern mark and all of that so this is in relation to remember we have four cardinal points right and um we'll use like compass is so as a, a directive right so we have a northern marker we have a southern marker western marker and the eastern marker so all these uh all these markers they denote to they they denote to to these phenomena that happen summer solstice winter solstice autumn equinox the spring equinox right so the four points that mark a change and a turning and as much as we journeying every season with the sun but these other ones get get a major one so where's that marker this is where or set the, the or the energy or set would reside right so like i said that i don't i'm not participating in in a group work of spirituality in terms of that anymore because i don't a not to be disrespectful or condescending or anything like that but yeah I just I, I, it doesn't feel like the correct location for me the one a a group work right but a uh, we still we still revering your know, northern marker so let us just who or said as the 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 goddess of the ways right mistress of the ways right mistress of the ways so when you thinking now so i love i love this content i really do so when you thinking hore okay where does the sun set gotcha gotcha so remember the sun rises in the east which happens now for eastern makaka spring equinox that is way retroyan bodinzalo and all of that and now the sun on the daily so remember these things appear on the cosmic level meaning on a macro level and then on a micro level a terrestrial level so all these things like life is yeah as much as the question of what is life can could not be figured out or can cannot get the conclusive thing but it just duplicates itself in everything you know in in in, in on a on a small scale on a on a big scale on a on a non tangible scale as well as on a tangible scale so the sun is set up guy is set up for the waves right so we see this phenomenon let us let us please understand about right we we're not going to debate yeah yeah does god exist does god not exist but yeah the sun we know how the sun exists we know that the sun is set up go is that they right observe every day la ka gore e design e le but we definitely know who that is the movement of the sun right so she is so the western marker occurs because now the sun is shown now remember this is now when we're taking it go mythology um i got to use other so to word actually i'm gonna go oh yes please don't forget storytelling thursday this thursday go go swana go go that will she'll be go backpackers go soweto i'll definitely be there as well hopefully if all goes well definitely be there but she'll probably be touching talking so storytelling side so she'll probably be touching on the shop the story for so for those waiting for soweto a i do not have a lift from the north this week i do not um but waiting for soweto if you need a ride whatever it is yeah let's hola 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 let's go and then um so western marker a or never to use i just thought of gogo twana now because she she was explaining the word yahoo shoka hala but i'll explain it from a guni perspective because that's anya so to yeah that's it baby le when coming to cosmos and things like that yeah it's it's very sensitive and it's very yeah you guys have you guys tell the great stories you guys yeah live creation stories alone that's super amazing you know and by basoto i mean uh, that group basoto batwana or baby <laughs> anyway so ila 
Nana Lia show now when we get into the autumn equinox, when we get into the season in Ayaho Naya Ose. So remember we said Kore uh what presiding the the setting, yeah, yeah, or say it's had B23. There's this phenomenon that hap that happens from B20 or B21 there where the sun now is journeying and now it's completely crossing. B23 it's completely crossed the the, the 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 equator and it's now in the northern hemisphere, which is now denoting to U Asa, right? The god, the green god, now Sogaya Shona. So remember like, the ceremony that is involved today and it's called the lamentation of Oset or is the Los Ganum Kulo and Osel Los Achatamaton. Right. And I like this Tata Matolo name because Tata Macholo. Sorry, I keep saying it wrong. I'm sorry, I like my Tata Macholo. Tata Macholo. But yes, a, I'm going to try to get a, the chief, the chief, the chief mathematician to please also just join you with us regarding this name in Asoto. By failing which, I will, or delaying which, I will ask a Tate Makubela also to assist us because yeah, he's the one who to sang a lot. On Tusang, that was so Zulu. On Tusang, a lot. Um, um, there's a sort of a spiritual understanding of things, right? Shout out to that day, that day, my cue. Uh, but anyway, so so the so that is why if I call the Western marker, that is why we have the ceremony called the Western marker because Ilanga Lia Shona and Shona is in the West because denoting Hori le the movement of the sun being the, the powers le. Remember, we said. It's at this point where we go for the Western Maka way, go golden meridian. There's that ultimate balance that happens. That ultimate balance that happens. And then on the live session that we had, I mentioned Hore. Okay, so that is the name Yahweh. On the live session that we had, I mentioned Hore. This period in Aya Oset, get the period where division and union happen at the very same time. So this comes back to when we're unpacking who Oset is, Gatli Gatli, right? Besides her being God the Mother, God the, you know, but she's a restorer. She's a healer. So um I think let us let us shift that from there. Because Gita got that work on the principle and the function to not make this a very, very long episode. So the principle of Osate is fruition, right? And please do remind me, please do remind me if I don't remember any click up or comment section. But let me let me note. I don't have a pen here, but okay, I wanted to note oh, okay, we wanna go into I uh, want to expand more on the union and the division of it. What it, what does it mean that the dual effect that happens um had again I'm season in a yeah or na ya or say try to go here is door up at Kunali division still but yeah so so um also remember closely linked to Asawaruna so that is where this concept we want to expand more on but we'll do that on our next session together but I've also uh, interesting co um content to share and I'm gonna try edit that content for this week even though it's not the greatest of quality because yeah recording at night and recording at night give I like a full no so anyway um where were we Principle, yeah, for AI is fruition. So what do we mean by fruition? Energy and energy dynamic in a yeah, yeah, or say it, right? So it brings whatever condition or, or it brings conditions, yeah, whatever condition actually to realization or to their completion. So again, now a or say it or, or, or complete time a in that cycle. So remember that the last season we spoke of okay, these things then as they work at on and now gave season, these things need to need to carry you throughout the entire year but this energy dynamic in Nadia our chief of Heka uh, I don't know if you guys have missed or are aware but I, I mentioned I remember I said yeah, the, the 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 lady of the powerful words so she's also the great magician yes earlier on carefully notes sorry pause next next five things <laughs> I'm so sorry. Next five things. Gabby Noon. So the, they they gave gifts to these kids, and then Oset was gifted with the gift of magic, which we call Heka. So when you hear us speaking Heka going forward, this is in reference to this. So anyway, um, where were we? A uh, Oset, Oset, the great uh, diviner. Oh yes, the things that are gonna be carrying us uh, forward. So Oset now comes with this energy now. To be able to help us now to complete as much as we're doing the internal work now. This is a time of hibernation, if I didn't mention it in the beginning. The time for hibernation, time for doing inner work. So also for those who are asking for the eclipse, see what we do. So just sit and do the internal work. You know, you don't have to do rituals. I advise you not do rituals unless you know how to work with energy and water of energy. But not the season I want to get myself actually the knot of a says. That is season four, and I'm always protected. Usually, I'm wearing also in my my rings of all because um, near the energy of a says, like if you see occurrences that happen around this period as well, you know, you can see, okay, 
um yeah there's a lot there's a lot that happens you know but not the chaos yeah yeah right so function it is to bring realization so this energy or set is gonna assist us with those a uh, those dreams and because also lady uh, affirmations or set body pump that can provide that energy that's 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 required in order to in order for these affirmations to come into completion or into realization and then also her powers also can circumvent any great obstacle that you find and banish any harmful feelings or any harmful things that are for you so you can call upon this energy house in a ya ya oset so oset also um offers divine intervention you know through this high magic that um she practices right so every time i see work guys she the guys right don't think person but if the thinking person helps you please go ahead with that but you need to understand vibration give frequency into one guy on like energy into one guy on and then because i don't want to touch the restored vitality right now but um who also said also when you call upon this energy she, she can answer she can answer all, all all questions asked answer any appeal that is asked so invoking her you need to be really really um earnest about that you need to be very serious and be in 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 in, in, in certainty you know whenever you are asking from God assistance yeah the power the energy in her yeah said because or said what deliver she's a divine she's a divine interceder you know so in the, whatever it is that you call galibitola or said right galibitola or said or the energy of a said um it that it, it would come to fruition because that is the ultimate principle you know so this also reminds me of um Bome, right? Bome. Remember, she is the divine mother, the, the 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 chief mother, if you will, if you if you wanna say that. So she's the so Kimujimume got the mother here, right? So when you're thinking of her life as you're experiencing it right now, right? You know, Jorge, um, <laughs> the divine feminine Bome or Bonjono. You know, let's take it to a colonial side, right? When women gather and do spiritual stuff, that is why she, that is why go the colonial or, or Abrahamic religions, colonial, colonial uh, spiritual practices, you would find okay, there's a lot of uh, global guys is there, right? But then they struggle with brother, they go to And then in the conscious spaces, you would find a uh, brother there. So imagine that crazy shift that would happen if enough enough goddesses got this consciousness enough goddesses would understand and step into the power enough goddesses goddesses z, 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 interrogated this trinity ena you know this trinity ena existing ever excluding out of this but yeah so anyway so so it reminds me of you know the bomeba siapa please go check out um ish, i don't know if you think now because i now listen to the audio but the podcast i mentioned my favorite um journey to guantu yes journey to guantu there's an episode that he covered Gabo, i think was two like in the beginning beginning but we like about meba separate why first it was chosen as a day about meba but but yes that's the word i was looking for anyway so that is the principle yeah or said that she brings things to fruition so you don't just if you want things to come to completion or fruition or to realization you call upon this power great uh, interceder great um you know remember she's the one that used that invoked that used Hekka to invoke uh, that invoked Osa oh, oh, osiris in greek mythology back to life did i mention the greek name yeah isis yeah yeah isis but we don't want to increase the vibrations of the same content in our own and then anyway, so the function yeah or set is a birth. So she's the to not to not be confused le heteru. So remember heteru ke 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 by ke by product right the house of heteru. We're gonna get into that um, and yeah and also le le to not to not be confused but also to remember the interlinkedness of all these energies that we're speaking about right and how they all reside within yourself except that obviously there's a higher concentration or higher a uh, vibration ga, 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 what you naturally resonate with you know your your energy house your when you're born so her function is a birth right 
and so she's the architect yeah maternal life so she's yeah, again i got the mother chief of that and remember she nursed baby heru she's the one that trained baby heru along with her sister Uneptet, and um prepared him for battle you know restoration of the throne restoration or, or vengeance or resolving the father who asa asa's death right and then also another uh, thing that i want to touch on i'll say before require um wait sorry before while we're still on heru on the heru so also the the osset functional osset now she teaches personal power or personal will or um but again through through this high magic or, or stepping into your god self yeah i like i like using that i like using that um term so when we're thinking willpower and we're thinking leave the animals that are involved that didn't finish the animal one when we did our intro episode so the one animal that we um, link to or, or set or we take, take characteristics then as I was said, is the female falcon. So remember the hero season we spoke about the, the male falcon. Now for the, for the set season we're speaking about the female falcon. So when you see the female falcon occurring in nature, it is usually much bigger than the male falcon. Go another another decision maker, the great decision maker. Okay, which again denotes to to the mothers, which or I think I think yeah, boys in general, so boys in general, yeah, you won't matter. You know, except for or thy child, like a comba leve a but but to understand the, the, the role, the role you have made, you know, and with her said now saying she teaches personal power. And then also remember here, Ruki the will, that yellow chakra ele, right? The will, the personal power. So you you can invoke or set to work on these bottom three chakras. There's Goko to Lisa. I want to say her name wrong, but get to me. You Goko to me. Goko to Lisa, she goes by life. I will put her name in the description box. Yeah. She goes by life coach. Okay, let me not. Actually, let me, let me, let me, let me. Because I'm going to be mentioning her in a lot of episodes. I definitely know. Um, but I want you guys to check out our content and how she unpacks life tools, intuitive guidance. So if you type those three ones, you, sh you should be able to see her. But she's a chief resident go the Maya podcast. But she unpacks what I always try to say, God, the bottom sh three chakras. So she's the queen of a of chakras and stones and all of that. So please go engage with her content as well. Please go engage with content because she unpacks it so beautifully in order to understand and also the different stones that to, um, to use for this. So bottom three chakras, please go check out uh, Gogo Tuli. But that one important one in Aya Soda Plexus, even though we're not in, uh, yeah, so we are in the season actually, there is a ritual, yeah, a purification of the plexus, which denotes to the purification of the solar plexus. But I want us to remember Uheru is the will, right? Personal power, personal will, the decision making, and all of that that resides in the solar plexus or the yellow chakra or labati, a barking into your intuition lives or a bati where those messages are always coming through from there, you know, and it's not just for uh, the people that have the womb, yeah, the womb, yeah. So the people that it's not necessarily for womb keepers. But uh, for everybody, right? And then also, as said, her function is to bring dignity and closure to tragic circumstances. So that is what I want us to touch a little bit, uh, or said, and then we're going to expand more, especially on the principle of yeah, union and all of that, and how she appears as a healer as well, and also when we're going to tap into her high magic. But please, also in this season, you know, little even words, good say, good things that you say with your words. That's why I kind of season. I really, really implore you guys to be careful with the things that you say with your mouths. Be careful with the things that you put out into the universe, the actions that you're putting out, you know, and it coincided lame those stolen concepts, you know. Um and now I know in a period yeah, yeah, Ramadani, a yeah, it fellani, fella suni. Now we are approaching a period because of going full moon in again. So the next Sunday after this full moon, we're gonna go period in a barinke Easter, Easter, yeah, the bunny and stuff that has nothing to do with us at this current moment, but for the north it does make um sense. But um what was I say? Yeah, so also get, getting into the spirit. So also um as you see it, it's a period really might yet downtime low another um the people by the other abrahamic religions if study this whole land situation right 
uh, Kale, and you know when you're in the in the season, get downtime. Okay, you know as to no tugana. That's why as to still and as to tugani. You literally doing the turn of work with Mamela Moya, and there's a goddess who asked. I don't know if we covered it on our first episode. There's a goddess who asked, who as a shout out, Green, what's up? Um, she asked for a. Uh, it might be Azza or Zandi. Yeah, just me. I like Azza. Hi, Azza. Hi, Zandi. I like it too. <laughs> but um, she was asking Jorge, what are, what does the work entail at the season in? So if I didn't say it at that first episode, um, I'm going to say it now. So including things like shadow work right now, including things of sitting, <laughs> meditating, seriously now, sitting, meditating, Oi, my Luena. Um, including things like inner child healing and on Sunday I actually wanted um, my friends and I to do a live yeah um, I was like a daily experience because it's a year later lady now you know it's a year later but things like internal you're doing spiritual work now right and like I said when when we I don't know if I said it uh, into an episode but I said um or said personifies the consecration of spirit and matter right matter meaning uh, the flesh also meaning the the, the spirit of but mostly now we are transitioning working from um consecrating things of the flesh but we go into that i think we are lamenting now Jorge. okay the total flesh the failure and the season that we're going into now that is where it's going to be super more prevalent so just prepare yourself prepare yourself by doing the spiritual work so it just basically means we went up seven to more as la lele now sit and meditate, sit and think, sit and if you're a business person, sit and build the backbone of your business. You know, if you missed on your taxes, you know, work on those taxes, fortify your structure as well. Yeah, business yeah. And it's so uh, crazy that people you know, the people that we have in countless and endless and stupid debates about they tapping into this knowledge that we're speaking about, Maruna, because it's coming from a black person or melanated person, you know, like, and it's literally perpetuating a stop it, stop it. But anyway, that is all I have. We're going to expand more, speaking about her being a healer. We're going to expand more on. Yeah, do we touch the cedar tree? Do you guys not want us to touch the cedar tree? Maybe we'll touch on the cedar tree. Uh, I don't know if my moody is visible here, but yeah, me, I'm ready. Me, I'm ready. Me, I'm ready uh, for the season of a set. Um, but yeah, so even like, don't, don't also force anything in the season. Flow, flow with anything that is flowing with you, especially if it's requiring you to do internal work. Um, but if, 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 you know, I know I just cancelled um, my friends for somebody was supposed to go to because <laughs> you know but yeah be kind to yourself do the work please go check out gogotuli's gogotuli's uh, content as well she explains also your set also she she pulls a tarot from it as well please 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 go check those out i don't know if i forgot anything else if you have any questions if you have any comments if you have any corrections because because i know sometimes i get a good of okay because there's a multiple people living inside of me or multiple people wanting to express themselves in me i tend to touch this touch that touch this forgot i forgot i started this and didn't complete that so please just also uh in kindness remember more knowledge sharing session and now we're not superior we are inferior we are all in in oneness here we are all African unity, no divisions. I've been here, but I'm Kedba at. Uh, see you guys on the next one. I'm not too sure if I will record or upload a Gasiga concentration camp, but yeah, I think I'm in a, I'm in a vibe. I'm in a vibe of speaking a, on a spiritual thing, on uh, not a spiritual thing, on politics, um, a little bit. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll just leave it on TikTok. But please do like us, please do subscribe to our channel podcast too. please also engage with us in the comment section i can my at happy today take a one another happy talk peace